everyone welcome back to the channel and part two of the deep clean on the Volkswagen Crafter every time I say that I nearly call it a Mercedes Sprinter they're so similar but as you can see we've just put off camera put the seat boxes back in put those floor mats back down now those mats carpets whatever you like to call them I know they don't look immaculate but that is just general wear and tear there's no more tar or anything like that left on top of them and they are very very clean there's certainly nothing left on there that we could remove by cleaning that is just general wear and tear and when you look a little bit further up you can see it is all in quite nice condition the dashboard has all come up really nice there's nothing left on that at all all those pillar covers and all of the sun visors sorry guys i know i called them the headrest in the last video we did give the roof lining a good wipe over as well and all of those deep dark yellow stains have been removed there is a couple of tiny little black stains but we've had a scrub on those and they won't come out we'll probably give them another coat but all the a pillar covers are back in and it is starting to look really really nice i'm going to move outside now and show you inside the back of the van and what chris is up again to. i'm outside it is quite windy but Chris has been cracking on in the back there while I've been in the front and he started pulling out all of this ply lining and the shelving that was in the back and that bent up step and the tow bar. So we go straight round the back of the van and there he is in there in his element yeah. with the broom. Oh, just making a start on it. Just We are going to be pulling out quite a lot more but he's just getting rid of the worst of it, getting it all into the wheelbarrow and as you can see, there was just tons of it in there, wasn't there? And that's all like hard gone off tarmac. Yeah. We have made a bit of a plan for the back doors and the inside of here, but we'll get into that later in the video. But I just wanted to say welcome to the video and show you that we're cracking on getting this part done. A couple of hours, Chris has been in here and he's got everything that was loose out, out of the back. We're probably going to need to turn it round before we wash it out because... As you can see, it is on quite a steep hill, but I didn't expect it to come up like that. I didn't expect that much stuff to actually come up. I thought we was going to be in there chiseling away, trying to get it up, but it really is starting to look okay. I'm now going to move on and start doing those seats because we need to get those dry and get them back in. And we have had a little bit of a break in the weather and the sun's out. I've got all the seats laid out in the workshop. And those are two of the little back seats. And what I'm going to do is actually clean one of those first and then compare it to the one next to it and just see what it comes up like and what the difference is. And then we've got the passenger seats there. And the back of them, again, they're not in bad nick, but the, the actual base of it, the swab, is quite dirty and very, very shiny. So that's going to have an element of that tarmac in there. And we haven't got a lot of that tarmac remover left. So... I'll set up outside, get one of these cleaned, and we'll see what it comes up like. There we have it, a before and after. And if all of these seats come up like that one has, we're gonna be very, very happy because that really does look the part and it has cleaned up very, very nicely. I knew that a lot of the dust and dirt was gonna come out, but we've been using that tar remover on the seats as well, on all the little tar patches. And it is, it's quite difficult because you've got to sit there and just keep on scrubbing on them patches. but. 
we're going to carry on and see if we can get the whole interior to look like that. Here he comes. Just about that time of day for a little bit of an update, we have now completed the whole interior. All the seats are as clean as we can get them. And as you can see, they really have come up nice. Not like we was expecting. We knew that a lot of the crud was gonna come off them, but to this degree, no. That looks like a new seat. The driver's seat looks like new. It's a shame about the bolster on the edge of it, but we are gonna try and do something about that. The actual base of it, if you remember earlier in the video, I said how shiny this area was. And we believe that it was all tarmac, but that has come up like a new seat. You wouldn't believe that was the same seat. And all these little back seats have all come up really nice as well. The armrest is missing out of that one. It doubles up as an armrest and a cup holder. You should, there's the other side of it there. So we're quite happy with that. They are all drying off now. You can see there's water all over the workshop. We do keep putting them outside, but having to keep bringing them back in because it's raining. But moving on to the back, as you can see, there's a bit of action going on here. Chris has removed one of the doors and uh, there's a board there ready to go on the back of one of the doors. This one has got a tiny little bit of damage on that corner that we're gonna dress round. But I'll go straight back inside and show you what it is he's up to. I thought he was just gonna board them on there. I popped out to do something and I've come back and he's actually straightened up one of the, this had a bit of a dent in the back of it, Chris, didn't it? it did, yeah. So he's knocked that dent out and it's come out quite nice. And as you can see, he has sprayed all that tire remover over it because along the bottom edge here, it was quite bad. And he said it'd be a shame to just cover it and there's still gonna be all that stuff seeping through all the edges. So he sprayed it up and cleaned it. And you only need to take one door off, Chris, don't you? Yeah. Because he's gonna make the panel up and then obviously make one exactly the same. And it just turns over the other way for the other side. So really really moving along with that van and hopefully we can put a big dent in it today i, I had one of the easy jobs there bolting all them back down you can see that was quite easy they slot it in i've left that door open to let some air through because they are still damp but the actual bases are still quite wet so i'm going to let them dry in that sun for a little while while i was bolting them in chris was doing that door and i just popped in to have a look how he was getting on with it you can remember what that looked like five minutes ago. Look at that. I mean, this side, you're not going to see so much anyway, because this is the side that bolts to the van. But look at the bottom of the door now. And he's going to bring that board all the way down to this edge, and then all the way up to this edge as much as he can. But when you fling the door open and it looks like that inside, what a difference that's going to make. We have given all this a wipe over in here, but we've not used the chemical. It's not worth wasting so much on there cleaning it because this is going to have a board over it and you're never going to see it again so there you go let's get it boarded out a little bit of an update and a slight change of plan this door turned out to be slightly slimmer so we did end up taking it off because we're going to have to make a completely separate template to get that made up but look at the difference just a bit of hard board on there same as what was on there before but obviously this hard board is grey but fits very, very nice and just takes all of that, that them scratches and that damage all completely gone. I think you would agree, just makes such a huge, huge difference to it. So we're going to get the other one on the stand, do exactly the same, get all of the tar off of it and then start the process of making a nice board up for it so that they'll both look like that when you whip the doors open. And that's gonna look a lot more inviting than what it did.
Guys, I've just dropped this seat over to the trimmer, Lee. I will put his details in the description. He's done all of our blown airbag seats. He's gonna repair that for us quickly. And I was just going out the door and I said, what have you got here, Lee? And that is the rock and roll bed for a Volkswagen Transporter, crash tested, and it comes with all the seats. I just said to him, what sort of money are they? You can see how it all lays in, two and a half grand for the lot. All on hydraulic struts, did you say, Lee? Yeah, all on hydraulic struts. What a lovely thing, and he made all this. Beautiful. I'll put his link in the description. Both doors completely done. And that just looks so different. It just makes all the difference for that little bit of hardboard. Chris is a bit of a perfectionist. You can see he's lined the doors up so that you've got all the screws on the doors all in the same place all the way down. Let's move outside. See what he's getting up to. We've got bits of seats everywhere drying. And I'm just about, I sprayed this up a minute ago. I want to clean all this frame up so it looks really nice once we've boarded it all out. But there he is, getting it all sorted out, tidying it all up. And that bit, look how nice that looks already. Let's continue on and see if we can get all of this done. to the end in the back now. Chris is just finishing off this last wheel box that he's made up there. Let's go out and have a look in the back of the van of what he's done. It is quite windy out here today guys, so do bear with me. I've got a little bit of trim still to put up there and a few more screws and stuff to put in. But the floor's down, that wheel box is in. Again, we've got to put a few more screws in. And then I was in there in the interior. Let's just uh, prop that door up, sorry about that. The back seats are all fitted. Front seats are all back in, they're all nice and dry now. I know in that bit of time lapse, it looked like there's actually a seat fitted that side, but it's not, it's that piece of plastic. So I've got to go and pick that base up as soon as he's done it, and that'll be the interior complete as well. So really moving on with it. And I'd like to think that we'll have the complete inside and the cleanup process of that van finished in this video with a bit of luck. A smile off my face. We've just completed the rear end of this van and look at it. It speaks volumes. I'm going to cut a picture in now. What it looked like before. So as you know, on the channel, we're all about recycling, saving as much money as we can, and turning a profit at the same time. So the original ply lining that was in the van, it was quite badly marked up, and it was beyond cleaning. So many of you reached out and said, Rob, just rip it out and buy new stuff. But that was nine mil ply, and it's very, very expensive. So we went with the three mil, straight over the top, covered it all up, and it really, really has paid off. We've gone for a nine mil ply floor. Unfortunately, it was impossible to keep it clean because obviously Chris had to keep getting in and out when he was fitting that. And then going around after and doing all the mastic work. But look at those wheel boxes. They look really nice as well. And look at the difference in the, back, in the backs of them doors. It just looks like a completely different van. And I couldn't be more happier with it. It really has come out nice, and when we go to sell this now, whoever's gonna buy it's gonna come out, open up those doors, see that it looks like that inside, and then just shut the doors. There's nothing to pick holes in in here, and nothing more to look at. Chris put that silver trim up there, cut down one of the old ones so that we got it all the way to the top. 
And let me know what you think of that in the comments section. I know a lot of you always do say, is there anything Chris can't do? And I always say, to date, I haven't found anything yet. But I think you would definitely agree that looks lovely. Let's move on to the inside. I'm gonna try and stand in a couple of positions where I initially stood last time. So we'll look in the back there at the back seats. They all cleaned up really nice. That one has got a couple of little tears on it. And we got that one there with some marks that I could not get out. Well, I have got to actually try and get in the back of there now, sorry. Let's have a quick look here. We are still waiting on that plastic panel, but all of this floor, it all cleaned up really nice, but these little bits we cannot get off. So we are thinking about possibly a nice black bit of rubber matting to go in now. In the back, again, this all cleaned up very, very nice. We do need to give it another little wipe out because we have been getting in and out. And it wasn't until I just put these little caps back in, I realized that we hadn't cleaned them. So you remember this whole panel used to look like those and they really do look, that does look lovely now. And there's no crud left in the runner. You can hear it's really, really smooth. That panel there has been taken off and all scrubbed up. But this is the nice bit. Look at that dashboard. Look how nice that has come up. Really chuffed with it and didn't expect it. Didn't expect it to look like that at all. All of the sun visors, they're all clean. The roof lining's all clean. Let's move round to what Lee done on the driver's seat. Sorry guys, I'm kind of trying to keep it all in one segment here instead of cutting in and out so you've got me jumping around unfortunately the driver's seat is still a little bit wet but look what lee done there he's put a new piece of foam in there it was a little bit more expensive than just having a airbag seat like repaired and stitched up because he's had to replace this whole section including this section down here and he's had to put a new piece of foam in there because obviously it had quite a large hole in it there but Look at that now, look how nice it looks. I know the other side does look a bit darker still, but that is wet. All of this is still quite damp and that bit there is bone dry, but. Look at it all. We just didn't expect it to come up like that at all. So that's the inside of the dirtiest van in the world now in a very very respectable and usable condition let's have another quick look in the back i can't get over it every time i see it i'm like wow how clean tidy and bright so guys i just sat down to finish this video and i was telling chris how long it is and he's just literally said to me do you know what rob we probably should have made it longer cleaning the seats and shown it a bit more but we're still learning and basically we was both thinking at the same time how long that took to do the last video that we needed to cut it down a little bit try and get it the same length but at the same time get some different elements in there and we've tried shortening it a little bit by taking the seat wash out and Chris said you know what we should have probably left a bit more of that in there because we did some live video in of me scrubbing them and Chris rinsing them off but there you go next time we'll try a little bit harder or we'll just try and get a balance we're still working on getting a balance we love to put out longer videos and we know you enjoy them but we have got to remember that we still do need to get the jobs done as well the other thing when we was just walking around a van like we're blown away we've done the job and we're blown away at how nice it's come out and chris just got in there and he went and the smell because that was terrible in there before it really did have a strong odor and that is complete it just smells all you can smell is that ply bolt so it's like new when you get in there and smell it and then in the cab obviously i've gone around there and freshened everything up and sprayed some uh freshener all in fabric freshener all over the seats so it's just it's great to jump in it and know that it smells nice it looks nice it's all nice and clean and there definitely ain't no germs in that one, that's for sure, because 
that's had that G101 and that other stuff all over it, everywhere, and all been jetted off, and everything that ain't has been replaced with new. So I will not waffle on any longer. A couple of people do say, Rob, you haven't put the merch in there lately. You haven't, you don't say your old famous saying anymore. Let's get involved. I've got a t-shirt on today. Um, the merchandise man, he, they've got like a, a great big office at their property and they actually knocked their property down. They was building a new one. So I didn't want to put the merchandise out there at the moment because they was doing that and I had quite a few people reaching out to me saying that they were still waiting for it etc so I'm going to start putting that back in there now if you want any uh, merch you want to check it out the link is in the description everything we've used throughout the build so the G101 the um, tar remover and most importantly of all the battery ratchet from Sea Leader makes cuts every job in half. People always ask me about it, and a lot of people have commented saying that they've bought one. So I will put all those links down in the description. I just said I weren't going to waffle on, I've got carried away again. Like, subscribe, and share. Follow us on Instagram throughout the day for some little sneak peeks at Selvage Rebuilds, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.